In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the items under the View menu. Datasheet is where you can select a device to bring up the manufacturer's datasheet in Acrobat Reader. If the datasheet cannot be found in the expected location, you will receive an error message. Interrupts will show a list of all valid keywords for the pound in underscore directive and the enable or disable underscore interrupts function for this device. The left column is the interrupt name, and the right column is the description of the interrupt. Config bits will show a list of all valid keywords for the pound fuses directive for this device. Registers will open the Special Registers viewer for viewing all special function registers or SFRs for a given device. A custom.h file can be generated with the register and bit definitions for specific functions. Statistics will show project statistics including ROM and RAM usage, detailed function analysis, and more. The Identifier Explorer will display the relationship between program identifiers. The All Globals tab will list the functions and global variables. Click on a function to be brought over to the Function tab where you can see referenced globals, local variables, and referenced functions for the selected function. If you click on a global variable, you will be brought over to the Global Var tab where you can see functions and files that reference the variable. The Defines tab is where you can see a list of pound defines. Click on a file in the Files tab to see globals and defined functions. C slash ASM list will show each C source line and the associated assembly code generated for the line. Call tree will give a graphical representation of function calls throughout the code. Double click on a function to see which functions it calls. Symbols will show each register location and what program variables are saved in each location. New Editor will open a new editor window that is undocked from the IDE. You can drag and drop a file tab inside the IDE to redock it. You can also right click on a file tab and select Redock to IDE to redock the file. The new editor window can be tiled so that files can be viewed side by side. This is useful for if you want to compare files. Next to the new editor button are four checkboxes. These are for four windows that can appear inside the IDE. Output will show the output messages at the bottom of the IDE. Notice that there are two tabs at the very bottom of the output window. This will let you switch between seeing the output results for a compile and searching for text. Uncheck output to close the output window or click on the red X on the left side. Projects, files, and identifiers appear on the left side of the IDE. Uncheck the options to remove them from the left side. Projects will show all the recent projects that have been used by the IDE. Click on the plus button to add a project. Click on the minus button to remove a project. Use the arrows to move a project up or down in the list. There is also a button for putting the projects in alphabetical order. To pin the project's window to the left side, click on the pin icon. When a window is pinned to the left side, the window will stay up while the cursor is in the window area and then will hide after the cursor is moved away from the window. Hover over projects on the left side to bring the window back up. 
Clicking on the X in the corner of the window will remove the window from the left side. Files will show all the files related to the current project. Each section can be expanded or collapsed. The files are divided into three categories. Sources shows the .c and .h files. The gear icon indicates a unit. Output shows the compiler output files. Documentation shows any user added documentation. Double click on a file to open it. Click on the project and then click the green plus button to add a file to the project. To add a unit, click on an existing unit and then click the green plus button. You will be given the option to add a new include file or a new unit. The red minus button will let you remove a file. There is a button for adding a documentation file. There is also a build button for compiling modified units and building the project. The next button lets you search for text. All of the source files for a project can be opened up in the editor using the next button if the project is selected and compiled. The properties button tells you where the files are located. Click on the black minus button to collapse all sections in the tree or the black plus button to expand all the sections. Identifiers will show all the identifiers in the current project. The identifiers are divided up into five sections. Those sections are functions, variables, types, defines, and built-in identifiers, which is a list of all the compiler's built-in functions that were used. The built-in identifiers are internal to the compiler, so there will be no declaration of these functions inside the user's project. Double-click on an identifier to open up in the editor where that identifier is declared. Notes will open up the notes file for the current project. Project Watch will show detailed log information about the current project. Click on a day in the calendar to see the activities, comments, and time log. You can select multiple days by holding down the control key or shift key when selecting. There is a radio button near the middle that lets you see the log information for all entries. You can add a comment to a day by right-clicking on the day and selecting Add or Edit Comments. You can also use the Edit Comments button. History will show the project history of the current project. This is where you can save the current version of the project and delete past versions. Clicking on the folder icon will expand or collapse the project files listed. To see all the history entries for a file, click on a file and then on Show File History. To compare two files, check the checkboxes next to the files and click Compare Checked. The differences between the files will be highlighted. Only two files can be checked at a time. The checkboxes next to the Compare Checked button will let you ignore case, white space, and blank lines when comparing the files. A file that was created by Autosave can be locked so that it will not be overwritten or deleted when a new Autosave file is created. Right click on a file to open it in the editor or to show where the file is saved. Click on Show Project History to go back to the project history.
Visit ccsinfo.com for more information about the easy-to-use CCSC compiler IDE and for purchasing options.